Hello everyone, this is Stevio here, and it's a cold spring day here in Ohio. We gotta get some tillage done, so let's get to it. Got a new demo on the farm too, which is nice. Get to that here quickly. You might see it over there to the side. Really need to get these uh, stumps taken care of around here. Take a look at our cattle quickly. Not too dirty looks like they got straw they got water and they got feed they're doing good so we need to start this huge machine here Ooh. so the case dealership didn't want us to be one up with the John Deere 9rx so they decided they are gonna freaking allow us to demo the quad track so we need to get this thing started so in our corn stubble needs disc also di we're also demoing our their big disc here kind of worked out just nice for us Take this over. Watch out, tractor. Unfold these giant wings here. It started in this corn stubble. There we go. Pulls this with ease. So we'll get started going around here. It's like this thing is easily pulling this big disc about eight mile an hour easy peasy so we basically needed to disc up this this is a corn we lost going into seasons we didn't get to harvest it that's why you see all the weeds in there the corn stubble unfortunate but we'll recover so this is another new version of Midwest Horizons. So this is a seasons ready Midwest Horizons. So pretty excited about that. So we should be able to get snow cover. All the trees have been fixed. All, I believe the waterways freeze too. Not completely positive on that, but, and then the uh, bushes are turned off in the winter so they're not green and lushy lushy green in the winter at least so looking forward to some new maps coming out saw DR modding is making another 4x map his maps are always grade A can't wait for that to come out it's been a few maps so Midwest Horizon was actually being built in 2000 for FS17, never really got completed by end time. So a lot of it is FS17 uh, buildings, architect, textures. So not to dog it at all, it just, uh, it was basically built before a lot of these maps you see come out are looking forward to a few maps coming out this map is still one of my favorites in FS19 so it's 
so I should say FS19 only map. This is one of the best, so always like trying a new map. Don't like going back to an old map unless they change some of it from uh, one year to the next. At least we're finally killing these discs and these weeds in. That's another mod that would be really nice. Wish I had the skill to make it as a cultivator, row cultivator. And somebody would take the weeding script and put it into basically one of the row cultivators. It'd be pretty nice. Spent a lot of time cultivating corn, beans in my day. Nowadays they spray more. Cultivating is not needed as much. So we got a lot of stuff to do. I want to start planting wheat too. So we're going to go get the 4900 and get it uh, started planting wheat. And then we need to start putting anhydrous down again. So we're going to plant corn in our big field in front of us. Uh, haven't decided if I was going to plant corn in this field too. Might still end up planting corn in this field. And I need to plant some soybeans. I might end up just planting this into soybeans and then uh, our field be our 80 acres beside our house plant that into soybeans so be nice as you can see all the trees change so they're all budding out so you can see them start to spread their leaves so after this first round I'm gonna go get the anhydrous bar and get it started because I'm gonna want to basically go and be able to diss that right away so then we are ready for big bean and soybean planting day so I'd like to get them all in quick can't plant them yet but we definitely can prepare for it that's another thing I'm looking forward to is a basically a double crop geo comes out Geo is what controls the seasons, plant, and harvest windows. So in FS19 or 17, we have a lot of Geo double crop versions. Like I think there was one that was mid uh, mid US based. And basically, you if you planted wheat soon enough. And planted uh, soybeans right after you harvest the wheat you could get double crops something like a lot of farmers do and even in Ohio they kind of do it nothing everywhere in Ohio and uh, do it really big in Kentucky Tennessee and type places so get into our 8330 again hook up our anhydro anhydrous bar seems like we just anhydrous this field but that's all seasons so we're definitely planting corn not soybeans into that field so I like to get anhydrous down into it another mod I need to 
get loaded is a uh, manual attach mod. I think that's what it's called. Well, basically, all you what it does is a uh, more realistic and manual attachment. So you have to get out of the cab and attach your PTO, attach your hitch, attach your hydraulics. Like this implement, the hydraulics don't work on it. At least you don't see the hoses. A lot of implements in 19, you can see the hoses and see them attached to the tractor. I turn on my blinkers there. Almost forgot. Oh man. Oh no, I I left a bag of seed. I'm surprised no one stole it. I'm gonna have to get that taken care of. So a lot of uh, anhydrous uh, applications done in the spring. It's even done in the fall or just because of the a lot of farmers don't own the anhydrous toolbars. But oh no. Did I grab a empty tank there? Well, we're gonna have to take a trip back. I didn't realize that I didn't fill up this tank. We'll be right back. There we go. Got the tank filled up. Now we're ready. Uh, I really don't like how this toolbar creates a cultivi cultivated texture, but I guess uh, with farming simulator physics, that's the way it has to be, but kind of wish it wasn't so most all it does really is cut rip a little hole into the ground with a ripping tool and then it injects anhydrous and then it covers that back up so basically you just kind of have these stripes through the field it doesn't really cultivate and make a good planting texture but that's okay we'll still run the disc over it Good little anhydrous toolbar. The only problem with this anhydrous toolbar is wrong with the tank and it doesn't empty out the tank. So it's unfortunate, but I really like the appearance of everything. It really looks good. The tank actually hooks up with the hose, just like it does in real life. So kind of cool. Guess you could even pull two tanks if you really wanted to, but no need we will let him get at it while we go and start the planter so we'll take the planter right over here unfold it then we'll go grab the seed and fertilizer get this bad boy started good looking truck if I have to say just wish uh, stock wheels were fixed on it they probably already fixed it I probably just have a bad version but if you buy it in the store I like the standard look of wheels I don't like the big fatty tires just not my uh, style I guess but wanted to get them but the rims are different so we need to pick up this bag of seed right there all right now we got it now we'll head back over fill up the planter quickly it's like the disc is taking no time over there so here soon we're going to have everyone on deck planting. 
here on this farm. We got a lot of fields to plant. Think about maybe even purchasing another field, taking out a little bit more of a loan. I don't know. So. It's weird how that thing uh, shut the doors as soon as I pulled up with the seed. All right, so now we've got our seed and fertilizer filled up. You guys are probably going to get mad at me because uh, wheat isn't the seed when you deal with wheat seed. It's never done in bags usually like that. So I don't know what I was thinking. Here we go. Now we're going around the field. Start planting. So it looks like this is... Not the quickest trail planter. Maybe we should have kept that uh, demo John Deere planter we had, the drill, but probably important to get more land too, so. It's kind of important to get keep growing the crops. I don't know why, but I had an offset on this tractor, so. That's probably why I was leaving a gap. I guess I had to set that. So usually I don't have to mess with that, but apparently for whatever reason horse play got unset or I set it that way for some reason. Probably well, I might have done it when I was stacking bales actually, so probably not even course play's fault. So we will time lapse this a little bit for your viewing pleasure. I'm trying to let go of this heartache. We will do mostly outside paths to start out this field to save time from turning around. Looks like that corn's not doing too well over there. I think that's not going to be a bushel crop. Get back into our beautiful red machine. Just seems like it floats across the ground here. really like the tinted window look on this quad track. Now let's get a bird's eye view of our farm hands in action. Jump over the trees here. Just love the look of this 8330. Such a beautiful track. Take a quick pass by our quad track and head on over to our plant. Looking plant
take a quick jump over our farm. Nice bird's eye view of our quad track here. into the anhydrous rig. We'll start doing our up and down rolls now. into our plant rig. Great Plains Planner, just love the look and the feel of it. So it looks like our 500 quad track got done. We'll take them over here to work in the nitrous. get this field ready over here and we should be all set for a big planting day or days or weeks got the grass planted the other day got all of our grass that was important hopefully we get a little rain for germination we go head around the field good got this going with our our 8330 is going in the field over there probably has about another hour or so of anhydrous like the rolling baskets on this uh, disc a lot of rolling baskets you see just go way too deep in the ground. This one is, these are just right. Breaking up the clunks. The root balls and everything looking good. Get some more time lapse as the quad track goes around its outside lap. Degrees, it's making me hot, and he has the same effect on me. It's just something about the way that he's making me feel. My been to the 8330 as the quad track and the 8330 work beside each other here. Because I don't know what to do with my fingertips. Oh, I want to run up through his hair, but I'm trying not to stare. Mm -mm. I get a little saucer. So it looks like. Our planter got done, and man, is it dirty. Got this field planted in wheat already. Let's get this cleaned up 
put away. We've got the wheat planted. That'll probably be all the wheat unless we end up purchasing another field. I think if I end up getting another field, I will end up planting another field into wheat. Don't want to change salt, it's not going to help clean this. Don't have that much caked on mud yet. Great plains drill. Pretty efficient little drill here. Don't need much more than that on the farm right now. So good thing we probably didn't buy that air drill. There we go, nice and cleaned up. Get this parked back in the shed again. We'll get our seed. Park this in the shed. And I think I need to pull over another anhydrous tank for the toolbar. Don't think he's gonna make it that whole field. tank is full. I don't know why I have seeds though that's kind of odd. Really odd. As we're pulling this anhydrous tank we'll turn on our flashers. About ready to get to the highway. go pull this right over here looks like this is the first round done by the Steiger there quad track a little bit farther ahead go. So we didn't end up needing that other tank. Guess we were just got it into one tank. Looks like I left it a little bit of gap. I thought I was covering that what it was the tool was missing. It's basically if you ever see one of these running a field that's how they end up doing it. They leave a little gap between the each, each roll device because uh, it basically covers 15 rows of let's say a 16 foot width. But it's okay we got most of the area. Taking this on back to the farm. Clean it up. We're going to end up probably having to do a couple more fields too, or end up spraying them, either or. There we 
go. So we will end it here. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching this spring tillage and prepping the fields. So let me know. Do you think we should buy that quad track or you think we should buy a field? Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will see you later in Ohio.